What's up, Reject Nation? We are going to start today, Gravity Falls. Uh, I know nothing about this show. No, nothing. I know, I know nothing. nothing. This is a uh, highly recommended via comments, and I know why. It's because Blind Wave started up a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I see the pattern that happened. Gotta follow in the footsteps of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks guys for recommending it. And uh, since we wrapped up Arcane, and then Chucky's ending for us too, we're like, well, yeah, let's. We should throw another show onto the docket here. <laughs> why it might as well. And Gravity Falls. Uh, here's a short one, and it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, even though I, I, I don't know why it would sound like a lot of fun since I. I don't know anything know about, about it. it. <laughs> I know what it sounds like. But you guys keep saying it is, so sure. It'd be nice to watch something that's like a little bit lighter. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. Guys, if you could hit that like button, that'd be great. Subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the next episode is up. As always, full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for Gravity Falls will be at our Patreon page. Over there, we cover a bunch of shows with the same tier. You get the option for both reaction highlights and watch alongs included. And lastly, thank you to the boys at Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. Let's see what the show's about. Ah, uh, summer break. So do you want cheese on that, hun? Sure, hi. A time for leisure, recreation, and take it or easy. Unless you're me. Ah! <laughs> my name is Dipper. The girl about to puke is my sister Mabel. You may be wondering what we're doing in a golf cart, fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. Ah! Rest assured, there's a perfectly logical explanation. Okay, let we'll the show begin. That. It all began when our parents decided we could use some fresh air. They shipped us up north to a sleepy town called Gravity Falls, Oregon to stay at our great uncle's place in the woods. Mystery this Shack. This attic is amazing. Check out all my splinters. Ah. <laughs> the Kristen shawl. Hey, friend. Ow. Oh, yes, you can keep chewing on my sweater. <laughs> My sister tended to look on the bright side of things. Yay! Grass! <laughs> <laughs> and then there was our great <laughs> Uncle Stan. That guy. <laughs> it was worth it! <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the Sass Crunch! <laughs> I want to go there. It looked like it was going to be the same boring routine all summer until one fateful day. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Uh, do you like me? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> I rigged it. <laughs> it's my big chance to have an epic summer romance. Yeah, but do you need to flirt with every guy you meet? My name is Mabel. But you can call me the girl of your dreams. I'm just... Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the man of my dreams walked through that door right now. Uh, 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 oh, oh, not good. Ow. That, that's illegal. Grunkle Stan, whenever I'm in those woods, I feel like I'm being watched. Ah, uh, this again. I'm telling you, something weird is going on in this town. Just today, my mosquito bite spelled out beware. That says be warb. <laughs> Grunkle Stan, nobody ever believes anything I say. Huh? What? Oh, Christmas Town? Oh. Huh? What the? Is that a Necronomicon? <laughs> Conda. It's hard to believe it's been six years since I began studying the strange and wondrous secrets of Gravity Falls, Oregon. Hmm. What is all this? Your season adventures. <laughs> I'm being watched. I must hide this book before he finds it. Remember, in Gravity Falls, there is no one you can trust. No one you can trust. It's nothing. Oh, oh, it's nothing. Are you actually not going to show me? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Well, time to spill the beans. Rope. <laughs> beans. Stupid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. In the half hour I was gone, you already found a boyfriend? What can I say? I mean, this is a first date. 
come on. Oh. Oh, coming! What you reading there, Slick? Oh, I was just catching up on uh, gold chains for old men. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh God. Sup? Hey. How's it hanging? We met at the cemetery. He's really deep. Oh, <laughs> little muscle there. That's <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, God. Oh, what's your name? Normal. <laughs> Nor <laughs> Normal man. <laughs> so, you want to go gold hands or whatever? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't wait up. <laughs> uh. There was something about Norman that wasn't right. <laughs> he calls him Norman. <laughs> I love it. Pale skin and bad attitudes, these creatures are often mistaken for teenagers. Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious. <gasps> uh, uh. Zombie! Zombie! Somebody say Crombie? What is that? Crombie? It's not even a word. You're losing your mind. <laughs> Rob Crombie. Seuss, you've seen Mabel's boyfriend. He's got to be a zombie, right? Look, dude, I believe you. I'm always noticing weird stuff in this town. Like the mailman? Pretty sure that dude's a werewolf. Hey. <laughs> My sister could be in trouble. It was time to get some evidence. <laughs> 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 We've got to talk about Norman. Isn't he the best? Check out this giant smooch mark he gave me. <laughs> Gullible. It was just an accident with the leaf blower. <laughs> Guessing practice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh, golly. <laughs> it's not what he seems. He might be a vampire? That would be so awesome! Guess again, sister. Shabam! Ah! Gnomes. Bam! A zombie? That is not funny, Dipper. I'm not joking. It all adds up. The bleeding, the limp. He never blinks. Have you noticed that? Maybe he's blinking when you're blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any real evidence. <laughs> I guess I can be kind of paranoid sometimes and... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Maybe it's a prosthetic. You can tell me anything. Please be a vampire, please be a vampire. Just keep an open mind, be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Way to go, show. Long story short, us gnomes have been looking for a new queen. Right, guys? Oh, my. I'm sorry, guys. You're really sweet, but I'm a girl, and you're gnomes. And it's like, what? <laughs> Yikes. But gnomes are real. That's right. And they're just living. <laughs> more you struggle, the more awkward this is going to be for everybody. Just, okay, just get, get her arm there, Steve. Gross. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> the frame that launched a thousand memes. Gnomes, little men of the Gravity Falls forest. Weaknesses unknown. Oh, come on! Ah. You think you can stop us, boy? You have no idea what we're capable of. The gnomes are a powerful race. Do not trifle with the... <laughs> 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 You've messed with the wrong creatures, boy. Gnomes of the forest, assemble! Oh, gnome. Hell, gnome. <laughs> Hurry before they come after us. I wouldn't worry about it. See their little legs? <laughs> the suckers are tiny. Oh, no. Ah, <sighs> uh, gnome zord. Uh, 
No pollution, no. <laughs> I accidentally overstocked some inventory, so uh, how's about each of you take one item from the gift shop on the house, you know? Really? What's the catch? The catch is do it before I change my mind. Now take. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. Ha! <laughs> Replacement hat. And I will have a. Grappling hook! <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have, like, a doll or something? Grappling hook! Fair enough. <laughs> this journal told me there was no one in Gravity Falls I could trust. But when you battle a hundred gnomes side by side with someone, you realize that they've probably always got your back. <sighs> hey, Mabel, could you get the light? I'm on it. Oh, God. It worked! Our uncle told us there was nothing strange about this town. But who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unlocked? Like, what does the uncle know? Yeah, what are you hiding, Grunkle Stan? It's got the gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Trap back there. Get that meme. T shirts. We watched the whole Filters. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy. What a pilot. My that God. That was an adventure and a half. Well, that was a, exactly what I expected. <laughs> Going into this blind, not knowing a thing about Gravity Falls, I was like, I feel like I, I have an idea what this show is going to be like. And then sure enough, nailed it. This was like, I, I must have had like a premonition or something. Because this was exactly what I thought it would you be. You called there. It was called there, for sure. As if in a dream. No, I was not expecting something as um, <laughs> hyperkinetic as it was, but the kind of physical comedy and the banter that occurs of this, like the self-aware yeah. jokes, that's my jam right there. Yeah. That's totally my jam. And... It's a really good pilot setup. Like you have the, the what's the guy's name? Dipper. Dipper. Yeah. Dipper. Yeah, like and the big Ma Dipper. Right? Yeah, and then you got Mabel. Yeah. This there, Mabel's the kind of character that normally would annoy the shit out of me, but for some reason I thought she was freaking hilarious here. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite part of the whole episode. <laughs> Never forget it. And she just cracked me up for some reason. Yeah, she's the right pitch of that. Like, it, I, yeah, it could easily become obnoxious, but it's the right pitch of quirk. It's yes. It's like silly, but not too much. Yeah, it was perfect in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, the, our main guy, I like this like this setup. It, it, it lends itself to something more uh, adventurous to come because the fact that they have you going that it's probably going to be a zombie. I didn't actually see a mislead. I thought I was like, is that a human or a zombie? That's yeah. all I thought it was going to be. 
But then to have the gnome thing come around was actually pretty clever because yeah. first thing you see is the gnome in the book, and then they they open up the they like they're telling you gnome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, the mistaken pull of no, wait, no, 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 no zombie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like they're they're alluding that it's probably going to be gnome, and then the way they flesh it out, meaning that this world, if it has the gnomes, it should at least still have the zombies. It should yeah, still have yeah. the werewolves. It should still have all the cool ghouls and creatures that are to await us. And of course, like the setup with the uncle, who has a bit of that Rick vibe to him, but not fully. Yeah. You know, like, yes, he's got kind of that, that, that cadence of delivery, the raspy, scratchy voice, the uh, the guardian who doesn't seem that responsible for the youth characters. Yeah, and who's always got a scheme. Yeah, 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 a little yeah. skeezy and whatnot. But um, the, 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 I like that they let us in, that there, he does know more than what's actually going on. A lot of his jokes were really funny, yeah. too. Yeah. And the an, the animation and the whimsy, I thought, was just, it's like, this is, it's a, it's a Disney at the time. It's a Disney show? I thought it was on like Cartoon Network at the time. But, I don't know anything about it. But so, maybe yeah. they acquired it or maybe yeah, I don't I don't really know much on that side, but I am surprised maybe to see their name on it just because this, you know, feels very kid accessible, but not necessarily aimed at kids. It like feels this, Disney XD to me. Yeah, That's it feels more guess. like young teenager and mm -hmm. at all, but sort of aimed most directly towards yeah, that age bracket where it's a little bit more mature and there's a little bit more of that sort of lexicon like yeah like there's lots of fanciful creatures and stuff that I think we can expect that are just at home in a kids fantasy world but I feel like they're probably going to do a lot of fun pulls for movies and shows and play on your you know expectations mm -hmm. based on certain creatures even you know like like yeah, I wouldn't have seen the gnomes thing coming around but they they do a nice job of of you know, like playing with what you know about zombies. Like I love that whole montage of them like out on their date and everything that happens to Norman is like <laughs> a, another zombie image that's classic. Yeah. That you just know instinctually. Um, so yeah, it's like I can I can easily see how this is sort of like one of those crossover hits that like adults really like, but also kids can easily access. Yeah, it's fun for all ages. Yeah, it's for got sure. great physical gags throughout. Mm. Ah, dude, the, <laughs> the freaking uh, six pack. <laughs> 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 As much as in the in the past few years of visiting small towns and getting more acquainted with what small town personalities are like, I really feel like they brought that to life here. Yeah, in yeah, a lot, in a lot of ways, like the small town vibe. Yeah, the work. like like woodsy, mountainy, sort of isolated, bored. bored. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like everything is way more spread out, much more analog, and there's not very like there's not service up yeah, here. It's like a great place if you're from the city to go visit because it's quaint, it's peaceful, it's quiet. But then if you live there, you're you're kind of just bored. <laughs> well, that too, like, I, I like, it almost reminds me of, like, a, a fun, madcap, family-accessible, like, Twin Peaks in that way. Like, you have this... <laughs> what a pull. Well, and I, and I wonder, yeah. you know, if, if that's in the sauce. Because, yeah, like, there is a sort of, like, small town, like, some strange here, but also everyone just kind of knows each other. And, yeah, it is kind of, like, slow and sleepy, you know, but there's all, like, there's lots bubbling beneath the surface. And uh, I can see this this show kind of pulling from there, you know, at least potentially speaking. That's a great title. Yeah, it is. It it's really so is. Second, I actually think about that. Mm -hmm. Gravity Falls. Balls. Wow. Yeah, it's like a perfect metaphor, and it sounds like a town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like things are gonna go turn upside down. Absolutely. I love okay. it. Love this. Love the sound of it. Yeah. No, it's a really good pilot. I liked it a lot. Liked it a lot. Um, so. I, no I, would, I would imagine that as it progresses, it probably just gets even better from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll probably, I imagine the pace and the rhythm will, will you know, sort of find its quintessential whip crack level, you know? Yeah, because at first it's a bit of sensory overload if you're going in blind. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's like I fully expect over the next, like over a, at least a first season to see kind of them hone and yeah. tweak the energy and the pace and the humor voice. But this is, a, as far as like all pilots go, like this feels well formed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I remember like uh, Rick and Morty is not um, <laughs> a much more adult show than this. <laughs> and much more sci-fi. Uh, they're very different in a lot of ways, but I could see a version where people might compare it. But I remember like even Rick and Morty, a show that I, I fell absolutely in love with. Uh, the pilot did not really hook me. And, <laughs> and so, but this to me, I was more gravitated, comparatively speaking, I was more gravitated towards this pilot than I was like Rick and Morty. So 
on that note, I'd imagine that as the show progresses, it'd probably just get better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You know? Well, and watching other shows like a Supernatural, like it gets you, and, and being that, you know, like this is in, you know, a, a tighter package, mm -hmm. it's 20 minutes, like it gets you excited for just the promise of like, oh man, we're going to see so many creatures and things, and, and like yeah, every... Yeah, Scooby-Doo vibe to it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and it feels like you won't necessarily even be confined, like I'm sure each episode will have one major thing at the center of it, but you won't be confined to just one mysterious happening yeah, or whatever yeah. throughout the show and I think that's another fun portent is the, you know, the the breadth of, of absurdity you can access in this medium. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, well Gravity Falls, thanks so much for recommending this our way. This was quite enjoyable. Make sure to subscribe, click that like button and hey, we'll catch you guys soon.